I want to hold the hand inside you I want to take the breath that's true Fade into you Hey, it's Nate with another piano tutorial. Today I'm going to do Fade Into You by Mazzy Star. This song is very simple. It's mostly just the same three chords over and over again. There's a lot of space in the song, which is part of what makes it such a cool recording. It's really relaxing and kind of trance inducing. But because the chords are simple and there's all this space in it, I'm going to take some time after I'm done teaching you the chords to show you a bunch of ways to expand the piano part to really make it your own and have fun with it. Let's just jump in. So here's the main chord progression, like I said, nice and simple. I do recommend getting the chords and lyrics sheet though. I put a link down in the description. That'll help you follow along and see where each chord lines up with the words that you sing. The part I'm gonna do first is the verse. Let's learn the left hand first. The left hand's gonna do fifths. So a normal chord might have three notes, the root, the third, and the fifth. We're gonna leave out that third and it's just gonna be two notes. So this is for the A. It's just A and E. Next, we move down to the E. E fifth, so E plus B there. And then finally, we've got the B minor, um, so B fifths, we got a B and an F sharp. So once again, for the A chord, you're doing A and E. For the E chord, you're doing E and B. And for the B minor chord, you're doing B and F sharp, and that hits twice. Now for the right hand, nice and simple A major chord, we've got A, C sharp, and E. Now, when it goes to the E chord, the left hand's gonna move down there. We're gonna do an inversion on the E chord in the right hand. So instead of jumping down here, we're actually gonna take that E up here. We're gonna do a G sharp, a B, and an E. Now notice, that way it keeps the right hand kind of in the same zone. Your, your pinky stays on E. Just helps it sound a little bit more connected even though the left hand's jumping down. And then for the B minor, we're gonna do B, D, and F sharp. Now I gotta mention, this song is in 6-8 time. It's a slightly less common time signature. That means that every measure has six counts in it. So there should always be a little voice in the back of your head thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Even better if you tap your feet or feel it in your body. So this chord progression with the counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, Six, so that B minor lasts for 12 counts really. And feeling that six eight pulse, doing that counting is really important for when we wanna decorate the chord progression a little more and add some arpeggios and stuff, which I'm gonna to get to a little later. But for now, let's just do a little bit of rhythm in the right hand where you play the chords on beat one and beat four. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you could just start singing. This could be your cover. I want to hold the hand inside you. Before we move to the chorus, there's one detail I want to mention. The vocal line kind of stops when you get to the B minor, and then you have these two measures of B minor, which sometimes feels like it's a lot of almost dead space, uh, especially when it's just you and piano and we don't have the drums or the guitar from the recording. So one thing that I noticed on a, a Mazzy Star live recording is on the B minor, the guitar player was going back and forth between the B minor and a B sus two, which just means that instead of the, the middle note there, the, we're gonna do an, a C sharp there with the second finger instead. So that can be used as a variation, um, especially on the second uh, measure of B minor. So I want to hold the hand inside you. And then maybe that sounds really nice and just kind of spices it up a little bit. So for the chorus, we keep doing the same chord progression. The left hand is going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to just take the right hand up to some higher inversions so that the chorus feel like it kind of lifts up and gets a little bit more intense. Um, so instead of doing the A like this, we're gonna actually do it all the way up here. So we've got a E, an A, and a C sharp. 
really brightens things up. Then um, for the E, we'll just do a root position E with the E at the bottom. Again, uh, your thumb can stay in the same place, so those chords end up really connected. It's E, G sharp, B. And then for the B minor, we're gonna keep our pinky on this B here. Do an inversion where we've got D, F sharp, and B. have a new chord here it's a D major chord um, so I'm gonna hop up to D fifths with my left hand uh, so D and A and then in my right hand coming from that B minor all we got to do is move that pinky down to the A so so from there to there it's gonna be D F sharp A I love this about this song. It's just the same thing over and over and over again until there's just this one little variation. And that chord change of a B minor to a D is generally pretty normal, unremarkable chord progression. But because it's used so sparsely, it's really satisfying when it happens. It's just like, whoa, something different. After that chorus, we've got an instrumental section, which is just a full pass of the chorus chord progression, including that D. Um, without any words. And we're gonna do it with the chord inversions up higher like we did the chorus. So there's only one other section that I kind of skipped over and that's the intro. And for the intro, it's just two times through the progression. And the first time I'm gonna do it the way we did the verses. And then the second pass, I'm gonna do it the way we did the choruses. Okay, so now that you know how we're playing all the chords in all the sections, let's start expanding the piano part a little bit. And I just wanna say that you don't have to expand the piano part if you're a little bit more of a beginner and wanna just keep it exactly how we've done it so far. That'll work for your cover. So I'm just gonna jump around and throw different ideas at you. Uh, main point though is just gonna be that you can hang rhythms and notes on every single one of the six counts per measure. For example, on the, especially the B minors, where like I said, it maybe feels like kind of dead space, I might just do the chord hit just on every single rhythm, like three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there, I just started adding that rhythm in the last measure of B minor, and I actually just went back and forth between the sus two and the regular chord, and you could play around with it. You could just do a full measure of the sus2. You could go, I mean, you could go back and forth. You can find what sounds good to you. Another thing I like to throw in is anticipating the, the E fifths in the left hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So you do the fifth first on the final count of the measure before the, um, the E chord. So on beat six, just to kind of lead into the E. One, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One thing I like to do in the chorus, which is actually based off of a piano part that actually appears on the Massey Star recording, is to go. So basically, when you get to that B minor, it's it's a lot like what we were doing um, in the in the verse where we go up to this C sharp, which is the same note as that sus two we were doing before, and I just sort of go one, two, three. Six, so stepping down to the B on the five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I like stepping down all the way to the A. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that just goes to show you, none of this is set in stone exactly. You can play around with it, make it your own, and you don't have to do it the same way every time or even throw it in every time. For the instrumental section, I might do a full on arpeggio that's going to sound like this. Basically, I'm feeling that 6-8 pulse, those six counts, and I'm just taking note by note all the notes that I would have blocked out with the chords, starting from the bottom, going up. So for the A, one, two, three, four, five. We got one more possible count, so I'm just skipping right back down to the A. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. I'm also using the sustain pedal, which is helping tie that all together so the notes kind of ring out together. You just have to do a little pedal lift every time you change the chord, otherwise you get too much ringing out together. So with the full progression, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I like still doing that and then going back to that. And then when we get to the D, it's going to be the same thing. And once you get your head around that arpeggio, it kind of opens the whole thing up because in the verses and the choruses, any of the counts, one, two, three, four, five, six, is fair game for a single note from the chord or two notes from the chord together. And you can just play around with it. You know, sometimes throw it in, sometimes don't, but it's all fair game. You can even, I might throw in a little bit of a sus2 on the A sometimes, so that could sound like... Or even make it more of a melody. And notice in the left hand there, I just went one, two, three, four, five. So I broke the left hand up from going one, two, and then on beat three, I did the fifth. Um, I don't want this to be overwhelming and all of this stuff is optional, but it's just something you can start playing around with. And I'm going to do some of it in my cover in a minute, just to kind of show you where it can go. And if you enjoy messing around with these ideas, like how do you take just the basic chords and use sort of the rhythm of the song to expand them into more interesting piano parts, you might want to check out my course, Piano Chord Breakthroughs. There's links down in the description. Basically, it's this kind of thing, but we go way deeper step by step so you can apply these ideas to any song. Final little detail I wanna mention is in the intro. I know sort of a weird order of doing things here, but so I mentioned that the intro is gonna start with one pass the same way we do for the verses, and then you know maybe throwing in that sus two, and then we've got a pass where you do the higher chorus inversions. On the recording, that's where this kind of lead slide guitar comes in. It's like, na, na, na. it's really cool. And if you're just playing alone with your piano and you don't have a friend sitting there playing slide guitar, um, you can still imply that melody by doing, well, you're already playing that note. The ear kind of hears it when you go up high there. Na, na. Still hearing that, but then for the ma, na, na, as we prepare for the B minor, you can hit that G sharp by itself, and then when you hit that B minor, before you actually go to the F sharp, just hold that um, that G sharp for a second, and then let it resolve. So it kind of plays that na, na, na melody. I'll show you what I mean one more time. Ba, ba. in and then we're into the verse okay thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh, i'm going to do a full cover now so you can see how it all fits together and i'm going to especially maybe in the second verse just kind of let loose and explore some of those ideas i was doing i might do some little things that maybe i didn't specifically describe how to do so if you see something you like um you could just kind of imitate, slow the recording down. And yeah, if you're not subscribed yet, that helps the channel out a lot. And then you'll know whenever I come out with more videos like this. Give it a like and then let me know in the comments what songs you want to hear next. All right, here's my version of Fade Into You.
live your life, you go in shadow. You'll come apart and you'll go black. Some kind of night. your eyes with what's not there Fade into you Strange you never I think it's strange you never knew Strange light comes on slowly A stranger's heart without a home You put your hands into your head smiles covers your heart fade into you strange you never knew I think it's strange you never knew Fade into you Strange you never knew strange you never knew I think it's strange